um i just dropped trip off at daycare and it was a little earlier than expected because he woke up at 6 45 and i was like yeah let's get you dressed like let's get you breakfast and your milk and i was like yeah let's take you to daycare <laughs> so i have stuff to do today so i am gonna make a matcha this will be my third time making a matcha at home and i will be honest the first two times are okay like i wasn't in love but i wasn't like okay this is totally terrible i've been trying to get more into matcha now um i blame my friends like when i first tried matcha like i feel like it was like over a year ago i was like this tastes like grass but i found the correct way to order it and now i'm about to make it at home um so i'm going to show you guys how i make it and i found a new way this time i think i'm going to really like this one because it includes brown sugar and i love brown sugar so i'm going to do that this morning and then probably clean up the house a little bit work a little bit as well all right so the matcha i am using is this chamberlain coffee vanilla matcha i am a diehard vanilla fan so that's why um i got this one instead of the regular one but this one's actually been really really good so using that um i have my almond milk here i've been going back and forth with almond milk and um oat milk we have a really good like barista oat milk that we use for our coffee um I have my pure maple syrup the recipe or the the thing i called for um it actually says honey but i want to use maple syrup this time and i have my brown sugar um so yeah i'm gonna make my matcha and i'm making an ice matcha i'm a huge fan of ice matcha um anthony usually makes me coffee in the morning and i usually like make breakfast like that's just like a little tag team but i'm gonna do matcha this morning and then go from there best matcha i've made at home day three day three um it's definitely the brown sugar and the pure maple syrup that did it for me like this is so good yeah i may next time just try brown sugar and honey just to see the difference and see which one i like better but i definitely like this is it right here the brown sugar bit the brown sugar all right good morning guys we are heading to trip's first dentist appointment like his first dentist appointment you guys say hey <laughs> yeah look at all your teeth you already got a dentist hey. <laughs> okay so like i was saying we're going to his first dentist appointment are you excited what's all this stuff in your face what's that what's that what's that so yeah, we're gonna go see Dr. Gandhi. That's actually my dentist and Anthony's dentist as well. And she wants to see a little trip. And I guess like babies Yay! are supposed to have their first Yay! appointment. Like, yeah! soon as they get, wow. As soon as they get teeth. And Trip got teeth like, gosh, I think maybe like four or five months. Like when he was like four or five months old, I'm sure like he got teeth pretty early. So now he has a whole mouthful of teeth, right? He's looking. You ready for the dentist? Yeah. All right, let's go this way. This way, bud. Come on. Come on, bud. <laughs> Where are you going? Sure. Oh, here, are you? <laughs> <laughs> right. okay. I know. I know. Can you wear some sunglasses? I don't know. This might be a little too big for them. <laughs> you want to put these shades on? Yeah. 
You want to put those on? Let's see. Ooh. <laughs> Alright, darling. So you, you said she straddles me, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and just lay in right back. Perfect. I know, I know. Yeah. It's okay, honey. I know. Ooh. <laughs> it's okay, honey. I know. I know. It's bubble gum. You like bubble gum? <laughs> ago from trips dentist appointment um it went really well in my opinion they actually say like <laughs> my um my dentist is actually uh, dr gandhi i love her i've been seeing her for the past like four or five years but she uh when she saw trip and like he was crying she was like actually this is great because like when he cries his mouth opens and we can like get in there and look at his teeth so it's actually great that babies cry <laughs> when they're at the dentist um so yeah that went we dropped him off at daycare so he'll be there um until i pick him up but i do actually like have a few things to do today i'm working from home and like have some errands to run because it's supposed to rain tomorrow and i'm just like yeah i'm not gonna go grocery shopping what trip when like in the rain like it's not happening but i just made a quick breakfast for us so i made boiled eggs and bacon for anthony and i made some grits for myself because like i haven't had grits Gosh, it feels like forever. So I just made this real quick for us to eat this morning. All right, so I'm in the car and you guys probably know what that means. It means I'm about to go run another errand, <laughs> like always. But I don't know, like I just been like in crazy interior, interior design mode. And so like I did my office as you guys know, and like I still have some like a few things to get with my office. I have a few pieces coming in, um, but like now I'm working on Trip's room, and I'm super excited about it because like it's dinosaur theme. Um, that's what I'm going for, and it's gonna like be completely different from like our house. Like granted, it's still a lot of neutral colors with like m obviously like more greens in the room, um, but. You guys, I think I put like a vlog out like last year or something like, yep, gotta do Trip's Room. I lied. <laughs> Never did Trip's Room. It low-key has been looking like a storage room and it's so sad. And granted, like Trip hardly ever goes in his room except to go to sleep. Like what I mean like throughout the day though, like he's at daycare, you know, and by the time he comes home, we're downstairs eating dinner and he really only goes in his room like to go to sleep. But obviously on the weekends, like, we, we chill downstairs and we'll run errands and do things on the weekend but I don't know like I feel like he's at the age now where like he's gonna like start looking at things and knowing things and he's gonna notice his room is not done and it looks like a storage closet and it looks great like it just looks so crazy so I want to get this done while I have this energy and like I said I'm just super excited to like put it all together like this dinosaur theme is like it's it it's it like I love this theme so much but also like I'm not trying to beat myself up about it because like if you can do your baby's room before they're born 
oh my god kudos to you props to you like and i would have but we moved in our house in october um, i was very much pregnant and i was going into my third trimester right and literally like february came so quick like oh my god like i was just worried about all the other rooms and like trips room was coming up i was like i'm gonna do it i'm gonna do it and you guys i was just so tired like it never happened my office never happened like and that's okay like I'm not gonna be beat myself up about it, but if you can do your the baby's room beforehand, oh my god, you definitely should. But again, like I'm okay. Like it's gonna, I feel like it's gonna be even better now because he is older and I could put a lot more things in there. Like I don't have to put a chair in there for myself because like like we do that in the bedroom. Like I can just put like a chair for him to like go get a book and like go sit in his little chair and like open the book up himself. So I know there's like benefits, you know, to doing it now, but also like. I wanted to get I just want to get it done all right so I got these organizers for Tripp's closet and we can like sort through his clothes and shoes I found this little stuffed dinosaur animal so cute little bins for when we actually do get his um little like I guess bookshelf and stuff that goes in his room and then look how cute this dinosaur lamp is I had to get it it's so freaking cute all right so we are in Tripp's room you guys and <laughs> I just brought this box in here and I can start getting organized and I brought these bins in. Then I can start going through his clothes. Um, God, I was just so embarrassed to even show you guys this, but this is reality. Like, since he was born, look how much stuff is in here. And like, none of this is like me or Anthony's. Like, this is all trip stuff. Like, you guys, it's so much stuff. Going through that, going through clothes he has, like, we're about to do the whole shebang in here. Like this is not acceptable anymore, okay? Not acceptable. So a lot of things actually don't get here. Um, really starting to like next week and then like throughout the month, things are gonna start coming in and I'm okay with that because it really gives me time to like organize in here. And so I'm going to do a deep, <laughs> a deep, deep clean in here. Um, Cause there's just things in here that he had like when he was like one you know one month old like he's not gonna use those things anymore he's way too big for stuff like that and so like this thing he used to stand in this he can walk now there's a swing thing in here we're just gonna put a lot of things in the bin in our garage we have shelves in our garage for storage so we're gonna put those up um not throw things away because we just don't know if another one is gonna come another time um not this year hopefully god please not this year i can't i cannot do it but um you know maybe a second baby in the future and so we are going to save a lot of things um and there's like some things he just has like multiple of so we may um so we may just like put it in storage or something or um not storage what am i trying to say we may we may uh, like give it to people or um i don't know bless someone who may need it so um, this room is about to get a whole makeover, you guys. You're not going to even recognize that it's a storage closet right now. You're going to recognize it as Tripp's room, and we're going to love it. Yeah, look at that. You found a toy? Yeah, I know. You probably have never seen it because it's been in the closet. <laughs> oh, my God. All right, so I just pulled everything out of Tripp's closet, and put these shelves in and they are really gonna help with organization, whether it's his clothes, shoes, just any extra things um, and clothes that can't be hanged or hung. And this is his room so far with everything pulled out. Um, and then I have our closet filled, I mean our hallway filled with so much stuff from his closet. So a lot of this stuff is gonna go in the garage all right, so it is the weekend, and usually on the weekends, I like to go all out for breakfast or just make things that I probably wouldn't make during the week because I just don't have time, especially if I'm going into office. Um, so I try to make like quick things throughout the week. Um, so today, I'm actually gonna make some pancakes because I just have a taste for pancakes. But like weekends, I would do like pancakes or French toast or like maybe like make like a broccoli or spinach quiche or something like that. So. Um, I'm gonna make pancakes today. I'm really excited. 
All right, so you probably hear Trip's show in the background, but I don't do anything super, super crazy when it comes to making my pancakes. I have my pancake mix here. I think all you do is actually just like add water. Yeah, literally, you just add water to this one. There's some more you have to add an egg, whatever. I usually get those, and then I have my brown sugar here, have my vanilla, and then I have my cinnamon. Sometimes I like to throw in a mashed banana and make banana pancakes, but not in the mood for banana pancakes this morning. So <laughs> we're gonna keep it simple. Um, and then I'm just gonna make some eggs on the side and some bacon. All right, so this is the color I like to go for in making my pancakes. It's a little darker actually in person, but um, just a nice, like a light brown, um, you know, just to show that that cinnamon, vanilla, and brown sugar is in there. All right, pancakes are done. We got one little burnt one back there, but it's okay. Put it out, put it out. What's wrong? What, what, what? It's like a little cold, but they look so good. So this is where we are so far. Obviously a lot of work still has to be done, but um, I really just wanted to organize first cause oh my God, we haven't organized since he was first born basically. Not even. Um, so this little corner here is a whole bunch of his toys. I haven't even went through all the toys. I just put them in a pile and I have his books over here too. So the plan is once those like shelves come in or like, I guess it's like storage bin little thing for toys that's gonna go over here I'll have his little toy corner here and then I'll have his book area over here maybe some shelves on the wall and maybe like a cute little chair in this corner crib we gotta fix this up and we'll have the um, dinosaur um, little frame artwork here on top of his area I gotta figure out what to do with this like very cute he does play with this when we're in here but I don't know if I want it out. So I may just move it to this corner with toys and figure out that area. And you guys know I'm very neutral, but I know he's a kid and he's gonna have to see colors and needs to see colors. So I'm okay as long as it's like maybe in one area. All right, so major improvement here. Um, I'm very proud of myself for this closet space because my God, it needed some love. So like I said, I emptied everything out and it is more organized now. It's not all the way, but it's more organized than it was before all right so the plan it was to um i don't know make it more of like a big boy room so as you guys see there are like wipes here but really the wipes and diapers are in our master bedroom because usually after i take him a bath like i'm getting him dressed like in our bathroom in our bedroom and so that's why that stuff is not really in here I don't really have diapers in here because I had them like in our um, nightstand and I don't know that's just the place we have for now whatever works for you works for you but I just like I don't see myself really changing him in his room because like this is gonna be his space so like to like play in and also like when it's time to go to sleep you know like I don't know if that makes sense but I don't, I don't see myself ever really changing him in here. Okay, so Tripp's um, toy storage came and his bookshelf came. And also I got 
um, his picture frames and then these are the um, images I decided to go with. I remember I put like a little pull up on my Instagram and it was so close but these are the ones I ended up going with so hopefully I'm able to put these in tonight in the picture frames and build these two shelves, we'll see. All right, so I got this really cute dinosaur alphabet tapestry for Trip's room and it's so cute. It has like all the ABCs on it and then like the different names of different dinosaurs. And so hopefully I can hang this up as well, but Trip is asleep right now for the night. He's out, so hopefully I can put all this stuff together. So then tomorrow morning, first thing we can do is literally like put it all in his room and get it set up. Um, it is gonna take more than a day to get his room set up because there's different things coming in, but wanted to go ahead and just, you know, knock some things out. So that is the goal tonight. So I was able to put one together tonight. This literally took me an hour and a half, almost two hours. And I'm tired. This is the other one. I just pulled it out the box, but I think I'm just gonna do it tomorrow morning because I literally have no energy. <laughs> All right, so today I am working on the toy storage bin. Lots and lots of parts. And the thing is, this is not even hard to do. It's just super tedious. So hopefully I finish this while Trip is asleep for his nap. So I'm getting ready to paint Tripp's room now. And as you guys can see, there are a few things in place. Again, we are still not all the way set up, but um, I'm going to paint the top half of this wall behind his crib. I think I'm gonna paint it emerald green to really make this like pop. And I'm gonna put his um, dinosaur frames right here once the walls are dry. So hopefully this looks good. I've been seeing like, you know, inspiration from Pinterest and YouTube so hopefully this looks good if my line doesn't come out straight which I'm sure it's not I'm planning on like getting something to kind of like pull both of the colors together I don't know if that makes sense but yeah this is what <laughs> this is what we're about to do right now So I have my paint here and I try to get a paint that was similar with his crib and it looks like this is it. I like was going back and forth with different colors. So um, I feel like this is the closest one I saw that was his crib color. So hopefully it comes out like this. I feel like sometimes paint is our hit or miss. So crossing fingers. This is Tripp's room so far. Just want to show you guys a glimpse. It is literally nowhere close to being done, <laughs> but um, still have to figure out like this section over here because I definitely don't want this over here. Um, but he does actually play with this little like, it's like a little sports set thing. So um, we hung those up and then have his book shelf here i actually did not realize he has so many books so thank you to everyone who has ever given trip a book it's the cutest thing like he goes over here picks up a book and then like he'll be like nana nah. and i obviously don't know what that means but i'm assuming it means like read and then i usually read the book to him so it's like super cute um on this wall i have like some dinosaur decals is that how you say it they're coming in i'm hoping like i can put those on each side of the window and I'm gonna put some shelves right here so this is kind of like a little studious little area for trip um, and then over here my god it needs help but don't we're not done yet we're not done yet so um, gotta figure out where to put his humidifier and also his little um, our little camera for him and then this is kind of his like toy area so 
hoping to put you know a lot more things over here it's got to figure out how to make it look organized um and i'm thinking about adding like a chair or table in here for him don't know where it would go i'm just still trying to figure out what that looks like because i definitely want him to still have this huge open space here um so he's got to figure out what that looks like and then of course his closet's over here and then i got some dinosaur hooks to go here either you know below or above um the light fixture here so or the light um so yeah lots to be done but i want to show you guys what we have, we have done so far oh my god it's like complete 360 or 180 i don't know even like why i'm trying to do math or put numbers in this but you know what i mean it's like a complete turnaround from what it used to be so really happy and excited about this and i can tell he really likes it as well